Torque is basically the measurement of distance times force. So one foot away from the fastener and one pound of force that you apply okay. is one foot pound of torque that you're okay. applying. <clears throat> now understanding that, it now makes sense when a, when a specification says that you should tighten this uh, head gasket down to 22 foot pounds. Right. How would I do that? The torque wrench has a calibration right on it. This particular one is a 3 8 inch drive. The calibration runs from 10 to 100 foot pounds. So the way I would set it, as I just said, the spec calls for 22, right. I'm simply going to unlock and turn the handle and twist this handle and tighten it up. And as, they, as I do, the collar will rise up the tube and it'll underscore the, the, the uh, engravings on there. All right. So when I work my way up to 20, there I am at 20, and now I simply go to 21, 22, and then I let it lock. Now I'm at 22 foot-pounds. Okay. I put it on that gasket bolt, and I start to crank it and, and tighten it and tighten it and tighten it. And when I get to the point where the resistance of the bolt reaches, uh, takes 22 foot-pounds to do it, right. the torque wrench will what we call actuate. Okay. And you'll hear it here. That's yeah. why we call them clickers. That's yeah. a nickname for these. It clicks. A lot of folks, to them, this is almost kind of like, you know, mystical. It's like somehow <laughs> I just turn yeah. this collar yeah. and it knows when, when I'm supposed to yeah, stop. It does, does Isn't that the deal? It's, it's pretty basic. <laughs> it, there's a coiled spring inside here. Okay. And when I set that poundage, when I turn that collar and screw the handle tighter up the shaft, I'm tightening that spring or compressing that spring. Okay. And I'm, I'm to storing linear force in okay. the spring. Right. At the top of the spring, between the tail of the ratchet head and the top of the spring, there's a piece of steel called a pivot block. Okay. And when the amount of rotational force that I'm applying overcomes or is greater than that amount of linear force the spring has stored, the pivot block will pivot. Okay. And that is the actuator that you heard That's and That's a little felt. ratcheting noise that we... Exactly. Okay. All right. Now, understand, because it's a mechanical <clears throat> device and you've got friction and wear parts like the pivot block and a spring that has to be compressed and, 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 and um, released, there are uh, uh, requirements with these to have them recalibrated at least once a year or every 1,000 cycles. Which because springs first. will stretch out over time and whatnot, you know. And right? the pivot blocks will wear. In fact, to, the, to your point about the spring, you'll see in our directions and with any uh, type of uh, torque wrench like this, that you always want to back the spring right. back off. You want right. to, if you've tightened this all the way up to 100 foot pounds, you want to back it back down to 20% of its full value. Not okay. all the way to zero, but 20%. Okay. And that will allow to spring the maximum amount of life. Okay. Available in uh, different drive sizes, quarter inch in, in inch pounds, three eighths inch in foot pounds, and half inch all up to 250 foot pounds in okay. this particular line but we have larger ones in the line as well look we've got those at toolburn.com check them out great tools and there are a lot of other gear wrench tools on our uh, website as well so check all of those great things out